uh, here on this nice rainy day. I'm gonna try and do a, uh, a hot swap on the Roku wireless uh, charger. I have this uh, charger. I've had it for actually maybe two, three years now uh, installed on the boat and I absolutely love the charger. However, for some reason it has uh, stopped working on me uh, maybe over the last six months. So it still works as a great phone holder, but that's not quite how it was intended. So I wanna go ahead and swap it out uh, with this new one. So as you can see here, I've got the, got the charger here. This is the old one. Uh, there should be a green and red light here, depending on, you know, or showing its status. But for some reason, uh, you know, I don't have that. So I'm gonna swap it out with this new one and, uh, and go from there. So hang out with me for a little bit and uh, we'll get it swapped out. All right, so that should do it. Got our cables. So I do have it just a little too tight for the connectors. So. All right, hopefully you guys can hear me over the rain. So I got the old one removed. Uh, it's just the four screws that go into the uh, dash. Um, and I have the new one here. Uh, the hole that I created to uh, originally put the wires through is not large enough to bring the, uh, the connection through. So I'm gonna go down below the dash and uh, make the changes down there to the wires. And then uh, we'll come back up and finish the install. The thing that I came down here because uh, I noticed that I actually have a water leak. Uh, since it's pouring down rain, let me show you. So, which is also a good reminder, definitely check your boats when it is raining. So I don't know if you guys can see that right there, but there's a nice little water drip uh, right there on the window. So I pulled the, uh, uh, the cover off of the window so that it kind of exposed all the screws, tightened up some of the screws, but it looks like it's still dripping. So, which, you know, is not bad because it is about a 20, 22 year old boat right now. So good thing is it's dripping into the head. Everything's waterproof. It's a shower. So hopefully that won't, uh, won't really matter too much, but we'll definitely uh, do that on a later project. So up here is where my uh electronics are and then everything electrical is behind here so all my connections are back here so i'm going to go up here and uh pull the wires down and then uh make the connection all right so you can see we got the new one installed now uh got the wires ran to the back i'm just going to put the uh, same screws back in it you see we got our our red light now so our uh we do have power going to the control so i'm just going to put the screws back in it does come with a little guide um which I'm just not going to use. It's basically a piece of cardboard, but I can, uh, I can just hold the, uh, device open and, uh, put the screws in as needed. So it's not that big a deal. Bear with me while I get this all set. Nice thing is I'm just replacing what I've already had. I uh, wish it would have lasted a little bit longer, but you know what, honestly, these offshore conditions, um, I feel like it, it, uh, it did a good job. So even though it, uh, it only lasted, I think, three or four years, the uh, conditions that I did put it in is, uh, I'd say, pretty good. So, so I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with it. We'll do the top one. A screw going in. And then we'll be able to test it again, make sure everything's working. So it does open and close just like normal. Moment of truth, you got that green light or red light right there. Should turn green, looks like it does. And it's giving me 76% uh, on the phone. And it does show that it is charging up there in that top corner. So I would say that worked out pretty good. So definitely if you, uh, if you are looking for a phone charger on your, on your boat, you do go offshore, you, uh, you know, need, need some reliability. And it also works really good as holding the phone. Uh, I definitely recommend this thing. It is actually a, a really good product. Uh, it takes 12 volts. I don't think it goes 24. Yep, it is. So 12 or 24 volt input. Um, it has an IP rating of six. So I'm not sure if that's uh, waterproof or not, but I can tell you now, I wash the boat. I, I get uh, soap and water up here all the time. I do occasionally get uh some salt spray if i had this uh cover open so it definitely does get wet and it does get into the elements um so but i definitely recommend it uh 
even as just a phone holder i've used it the last year it hasn't worked but uh you know very glad to get the get the new charger on here and uh have a new uh new spot for uh charging the phone so if you guys got any uh, uh value out of this please give me that uh thumbs up hit the subscribe button uh hopefully we'll see you guys on the uh on the next one thanks bye